Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Ishak, or the editor for Prussia, as you guys probably know me from the latest two uploads. Anyways, please show him some love and respect. He's been going through a lot of tough times, and I don't want to see this happening to him. Anyways, guys, please stay to the very end, and I'm out. Peace. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, it's Brescia. Um, I'm gonna start off by saying sorry for the shirtlessness. I don't know if you can tell, but I <coughs> I can tell. I've been sick for the past two days. I am not feeling great. I don't look great either. <laughs> I've been just wanting to lay in bed and sleep. I can't do that. I go back to work tomorrow. For the time that I've been sick, two days. My first day, it wasn't too great. I fell asleep. I was asleep till like noon. And then I had, uh, had to get up because I had to go to the other house. Planning on sleeping or just finding something to eat and then you don't watch TV for the rest of the day so just relax. But I couldn't relax. I was super stressed out and I was watching YouTube videos and like looking at my channel and everything and I realized I'm not at where I want to be with my YouTube channel and everything. I know it's like a it's a it's a long process to build up and everything, but you just got to be you got to be good to get to that point. And I'm starting to realize that like maybe I'm not as good as what people think. When I first started YouTube I thought it'd be like, hey, you know, this be, this is pretty cool. I could be doing this, and I could have people watch, and that'd be cool for me because, like, people will be happy and shit. That's, that's the time where, you know, I was watching PewDiePie and fucking Cinnamon Toast Ken and Sea Nanners, and I didn't know too much about YouTube and all that. I just knew I got a camera, let's do vlogs every day. Then I got to the point of like, I got a laptop finally. Let's see if I can do some gaming shit. Of course, I had a channel where I'd be doing vlogs daily. I wouldn't edit the vlogs, I would record them and post them. And they were raw footage. And then some time passed and I didn't feel like doing it because I wanted to wait until I had more shit to where I could do it. A little bit more time passed, some stuff happened. And then my, my mom got a new computer and I started playing video games on her computer because it was a decent computer. I could record Gary's Mod and Minecraft and shit and post it after editing and everything. And this is a time where, you know, I didn't have a lot of games. My friend bought me Minecraft. I still use that account, and my friend was letting me use his Gary's Mod account. And during that time, I was kind of, you know, I never had time to record or anything. It got to a point where I wanted to start doing it, like, seriously again. So I'd be up late all night, all nights of the time with my friend Elijah, and then occasionally I'd meet a few people on the way, all, along the way. Like, I got a... Portal 2 video with my friend Rex, I met him, and then his friend, and then I met some other friends, Crazy Llamas, AXP, I got a video with them doing Gmod, and that's where I was really wanting to edit. Like, that's where I was really wanting to be the best for editing. The problem was, I didn't have a good microphone for it. I had this rinky-dink, uh, high school musical sing-along fucking microphone that was like five fucking dollars inside of a used old fucking goldfish cracker box it was shoved in there and I was recording with that and my cat would be like in my fucking mouth and then even then the audio still wasn't good fast forward a little bit I got a new microphone I got that snowball I used to have and I started to want and want to do face cam with my previous vlog camera so I had a little rig for it I and everything like like it was good editing took forever because i had to sync the uh ipod audio and i had to download software for 
for it to work with my other software and I had to sync everything together like frame by frame so it didn't look like it was in a Japanese movie. For what I had during that time, I was super into editing. I had that first person lover game. I probably took it down. Since then I've taken down so many videos because I was embarrassed with myself. I mean I realize now I probably should have privated them or some, something or some of them I didn't have to delete. I've been doing this four years since I think it was February. Four years since February, February I believe. Fast forwarding from the time where I wanted to edit and everything. I was doing that for a long time. And I started doing it less when I started to get a job and I was more focusing on school. And then after I got a job, I was like, I want to get my own computer. I want to be doing stuff my way instead of my mom's way. When I got my own computer, I was like, this is cool, but none of my friends ever have time to record. I'm not super funny on my own. I'm not very funny on my own. I'm very awkward. So I want to do a lot of single player videos because not not single multiplayer videos because you know that's cool i can joke with my friends and they think it's funny and then that'll generate some laughs and be like yeah you know you're kind of funny and then they'll be funny so you know like do stuff like that up until that point of getting that new computer i've done that and then right after I got that new computer, nobody was online ever. So I couldn't really do anything. And then anytime a schedule was perfect for me to record, it wasn't perfect for them. And every time it was perfect for them, it wasn't perfect for me. Like, I, at the time, I still was living with my mom. Obviously, I was in high school. And fucking, I can't go anywhere else with that. I had my sister... And my mom had her boyfriend, and, like, everyone was so rambunctious. And still, the only time I could record was at night. But yeah, I could have recorded during the day, but I didn't want any noise. And the microphone I had at the time, which was still the blue snowball, picked up everything. I couldn't just just like figure out how to lower the setting or something with what I can do now so there's not that much sound anymore like where you guys couldn't have heard everything that was going on in my background I couldn't have edited that out I've tried I have seriously tried I've deleted so many uh, recordings because I have tried so much and I didn't get frustrated because, like, I got this good scene right here. I've got everything in the scene. I've got everything to have laughs. But these are all these background noise. So, I mean, that's eventually what stopped me from editing all the time. I would have, like, an hour-long footage. that I would chop down 10 to 15-minute videos. But having... After editing and everything, and there still being, like, background noise, it pissed me off so much because I wanted to not have any background noise. And I would still ask to not have background noise, but they would purposely do that. And that, that wasn't okay for me. I didn't want... I, at the time, I wanted you guys to have top, top uh, quality fucking content. I wanted everything to be HD... Fucking clear, nothing staticky. And at first, when I started doing, uh, like, before I get my new computer, I had this webcam. Uh, you can check. I've got a video on here somewhere. It's a, uh, it's the PS4 controller video. The camera quality is like shit. It's all blue and green and weird like very staticky and it's weird and then when I got my new computer I got a new camera I got everything new except for a microphone and I was super happy I was super wanting to do it every time I'd edit fucking background noise so I'd live stream I started live streaming like with live streaming I don't have to edit anything I just have to go on Photoshop, edit some pictures, and fucking get everything set up the way I want it set up for streaming. 
and that's when I had one monitor. And one monitor, it was hard to stream. I wanted to be able to see y'all chat because I don't wanna, I don't want you guys to not be able to talk to me. That's the thing. I do not want you to not be able to talk to me. And with live streaming, y'all can come in, give your feedback, talk to me. We can have a conversation and everything. We can get it going. And then if you guys ever want to stream with me, or if you ever want to be on a stream, we can do that. And that's what I really loved about streaming. Is we can, I can do this whenever. I don't have to wait for them to go to bed. I don't have to wait for my friends to fucking come online. I could stream fucking single player Minecraft and you guys can come in and we can talk. And some for the most people you guys would enjoy it. I mean I've gotten I've got over eight hundred views on my Twitch, but I have seventy six followers. And then sometimes people will donate. And I think it's fucking awesome when people donate. Uh, then after everything, I I moved away. I came here to where I'm at now, and I've got a, a really nice computer that I love. I got two monitors, I got a new microphone, I got everything. I still have my old computer that I gave to my sister, but I still have it. It's a super awesome computer, but I got a new computer. And I still want to live stream. Still, no one has time to record. No one has time to record anymore. No one wants to be on my schedule for recording. And I can't get on anybody else's schedule. It's not that I'm unwilling. I just can't get on the schedule because I work every day. And most days after work, I'm exhausted. So, when I stream... It's more of a relaxed type of stream. Let's just listen to music. We can chat. We can talk and everything. And I can shoot some bad guys on the way. Since yesterday when I was sick, I just realized with my Twitch, with my YouTube, I'm not really happy on where I want to be. I've been debating on just deleting it. Like, is it even worth it to keep going with it? Like, I love doing it. I originally wanted to do this for smiles. Like, I, I love the fact that I can make others happy just from being myself. I would love to help people. Like, back when I first started it, or sometime after that, uh, PewDiePie had a video when he was, when he was super relaxed. He had a video where he would talk about how, how many people he's helped. Well, not, like, directly helped, but, like, he would read comments or something on how, and then they would say how they helped, how he helped them, in a way, for feeling better. And I thought that was super awesome, and I really want to be doing that. I do really want to be doing that, but I'm not too sure anymore. I mean, my, my video has, my last vlog has spiked. It's that last video I have, other than the view count, um, it's got 49 views and it's got 8 likes and it's got 8 comments, but it's only got really 4 comments. Like, that's the highest, that's the like and then the comments is the highest they've ever been. The highest video that has views on my channel, I think has a near 114, 124. <laughs> And that's an intro or an outro video that I did for a friend. That's when I was super into editing too. That's right before I moved here. But I realized I don't have the time to really edit anymore. I don't have time to record anymore. If I did have the time to record and edit, who would care enough to watch it? And then if I continue going on with that, a consistent 40 people, like, I've been at 100 subscribers for a year and a half, I'm going to say. Almost two years. And that's because I started a Minecraft SMP. Before that, I was stuck at 60. And then I jumped to 100 after I started that SMP. I do like doing YouTube. 
I do like do, doing Twitch. It's just you guys don't want to share me, I guess. I want you guys to start sharing me. If you want to see more videos f about me or with me in it or whatever, or if you want to see me stream or something, or you want to see me do stupid challenges, you guys got to share me. I want to be doing this full time. I really want to be doing this full time. Like that that's my goal to be doing this full time. I already have monetization and everything, but I mean, I can't make a living off of a cent a month. And then if I do this full time and I get paid like I'm working full time, I can stop what I'm doing. I'll have more time to make videos. I'll have more time to edit videos myself if I get to that point. And I really want to get to that point. Like you have, like you guys have no idea how much I want to get to that point. Being to do this full time, I would love to do that. That is my goal. But recently, my goal has slipped away. And I'm not too sure if I want to be doing it anymore. I just want you guys to know where I'm at with that. On whether or not I want to keep doing YouTube or not. So if you really want me to keep doing YouTube. Or Twitch or something. Share me dudes. Like I've been wanting to do this for so long. I'd be really happy, happy doing this. But I need, I need to be at a point where people like it, if that makes any sense. I'm not trying to be selfish or anything, I'm really not, I don't want anyone to see it as me being selfish, but I'm just at the point where I just want to quit because it doesn't make me happy anymore. And I want, I want to be happy again. I want to make other people happy. <laughs> so, if you made it this far, comment, tell me what you think. Like or dislike, I, I mean, people go for the whole like thing. You have the option to dislike. If you don't like what I have to say, just dislike. But... Take care, guys. Man, I hope... I hope something happens to where I can stay. I really want to stay. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.